Hello everyone! In this lesson we will talk about the triple exponential smoothing. What's the idea with this triple exponential smoothing that is uh, called also the Holt-Winters forecasting method? If we remember in the previous lesson the double exponential smoothing, there we have the level formula and the trend formula. So the forecast was level plus trend. Now we have to take into account also the seasonality. For this, our formula is updated also with the seasonal factors. Okay, so the forecast formula is level plus trend multiplied by the season. Here, it's uh, the multiplicative formula, but also it is the additive formula where you add the season instead of multiplying, but this is the most common uh, formula for uh, the triple exponential smoothing, the multiplicative one. So, we start from our data, we have here the years and the quarters, and we see that our demand has a quarterly seasonality, okay, so we have four periods. I have presented this uh, lesson with the quarters, but it's the same thing with the months. I prefer the quarters in this lesson because it's easier to present it here in uh, Excel. So, we have to initialize the model. So, we start with the seasons. In order to initialize the seasons, we start with the first uh, cycle. With the first cycle is very simple. The season is the demand in period one divided by the average for the four uh, periods. Okay? These four seasons must equal to four meaning the number of periods. If we have, for example, months, it would be 12. Okay, it's the same method. So, we have now the factors for the seasons, and now we can start to initialize the level and the trend, and also the season. So, for initialization, we have the, the level in period 5, okay, in the first period, being the dividing of the demand in period 5 with the seasons in the period 1, which is equivalent with the period 5, okay? So, you have here the formula. So, the level A5 is D5 divided by the season 1. Then, we have the trend formula, which is the level minus the demand in period 4 divided by the season in period 4, the previous period. So, the idea is like this, both the level and the trend are deseasonalized because we first deseasonalize them and then we apply the season, okay? You see here in the formula of the forecast that we have the level plus trend. Here the trend uh, also have the damp damping factor, but we will not use any damping factor in this uh, example. So we can consider that this phi is uh, zero. So it's level plus trend multiplied by the season. So first we have to deseasonalize the level and the trend. Okay, so the trend is D5 Okay, D5 divided by S1, okay, which is the level for this period minus D4 multiplied by the corresponding season. 
okay we have initialized the level and the trend for the first period and now the season for this we have the formula um, for the season we have a parameter name gamma so the formula is like this we have gamma multiplied by uh, the division between the current demand with the current level plus 1 minus gamma multiplied by the corresponding season okay so now it's a uh, period 5 corresponding is season 1 okay so this is the formula for the seasonal factor okay sorry so we have initialized the first period now we have to go to actually construct the forecast so we have the level estimation formula which is we have the parameter alpha that you know from the simple and double exponential smoothing multiplied by the demand in period t divided by the seasonal factor in correspondence so for uh, period 6 now we have uh, season 2 okay meaning quarter 2 okay plus 1 minus alpha multiplied by the sum of the previous level and trend okay so alpha multiplied by this divided by this plus 1 minus alpha multiplied by this plus this then we go to the trend estimation the trend estimation is the parameter beta multiplied by the difference between levels okay so a6 minus uh, a5 plus 1 minus beta multiplied by the previous trend we ignore the damping factor phi okay the seasonal uh, factor remain the same so when we start with the first uh, seasonal factor estimation we go with the formula all the way until the last uh, real demand okay and now the same we uh, we drag the formulas for the level and the trend until the last uh, real demand okay so our forecast formula is here level plus trend multiplied by the corresponding season so the forecast for period 6 is the level plus trend in period B multiplied by the season in period 2 meaning we are in the second quarter okay we drag the formula until the last uh, demand the last real demand so this is the forecast for the period that we have a real demand then when we go out of real demand the future forecast is like this we uh, maintain the last level and then we add it with the trend multiplied by the number of uh, periods you see here it's f t plus lambda where lambda is the number of periods after we uh, terminate the real demand so uh, the formula for the level is the previous level plus trend 
the formula for the trend remains the same. Okay, so, so you see that the level changed the formula. Before we have this standard level formula and then we just have the previous level plus trend, meaning that from now on we will add to this level only the trend multiplied by the number of periods. Okay, the seasonal factor remain the same. You can you can make equal with the previous one. Okay, no long uh, the formula no longer applies for the seasonal factors. Okay, and the formula for the forecast remains the same. So it's the sum of the previous level and trend multiplied by the corresponding seasonal factor. Okay, so we drag the formula. And we have we have the forecast. So now we can uh, chart the demand level and the seasonal and the forecast level. We put it on this chart, and we see in orange we have the exponential triple smoothing forecast. And in the blue, we have the real demand. We have the, the we have uh, the forecast following very closely the demand, and then we see that it keeps the the seasonal aspect. So this whole winter's forecasting it's called like this because uh, in the fifties. The Holt, uh, it was a, an American economist, discovered the trend uh, formula, the double exponential smoothing. And four years later, the, his student, Winters, added these seasonal uh, factors. So, even if this model seems a little complex, please bear in mind that uh, this was the work of the lifetime for some uh, economists. So we should uh, appreciate and uh, use their uh, method. These parameters must be optimized in order for this uh, mean absolute error to be minimized. So how do we optimize these parameters? We uh, use, as uh, always, the solver Okay, so the idea is like this in Solver. We have uh, here already filled. So the objective is to minimize the mean absolute error. Okay, so L, L7. Okay, by changing variable cells, this from alpha to gamma. Subject to constraints, these three, these three parameters to be between 0 and 1 and we press solve we use the grg nonlinear okay and we see that solver found uh, an optimal solution with the mean absolute error uh sorry i have to do it again i have to press okay so you see that solver minimized the mean absolute error, resulting in these three uh, values of the parameters. So in short, this is the model of the triple exponential smoothing. Please subscribe and give it a like if you found it useful. Thank you.